Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks, and today I'm up, I'm back with some pickups. Um, no jerseys, other other items. Um, so I went back to the Bay Area for the Super Bowl. Uh, it is now Thursday. Super Bowl was Sunday, so it's four days later. You know, Niners lost, unfortunately, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Hopefully, next year will be the year. I just want to see Niners win the Super Bowl. Haven't seen one yet. Last one they won, I was three years old, so. Yeah, I can't really count that one. I've seen them go to three, but they've lost all three. So I'm hoping that uh, eventually I can see them win. But, you know, it is what it is. It was a dope season. Um, crazy playoffs, unfortunately, just didn't end the way that, you know, the Niners wanted themselves. And, of course, us as the fans didn't want. But, you know, it is what it is. So, um, but, yeah, still bang, bang, now again. So, anyways, um, today, like I said, I was in the Bay. For the, I had a three-day weekend, so I headed home to the Bay, wanted to uh, watch the game with my parents and my family, so I did. So while I was up there, um, I picked up some pickups. So I uh, got a couple things um, from my Uncle Peter. If you watch my pickup videos, you know whenever I'm in the Bay, he usually hooks it up with some Warriors gear. He does work security there at the arena, so he hooks it up. So shout out my Uncle Peter. And then I went to, uh, on the way home, with my girl, I stopped by uh, in Gilroy, checked it out a little bit. I'm, I've only been in Gilroy in my life like three times, but twice we're at the outlet. So, you know, I didn't really get a feel of the city. And then another time was out more in the fields when I was a kid at like a, a party. So this time I got to be more in the city. I was downtown and there was a vintage antique store that had a, um, a bunch of bobbleheads and stuff. Real quick, Gilroy is the Bay Area. Anyone who says it's not, it's in Santa Clara County. And Santa Clara County is part of the Bay Area. Therefore, Gilroy is the Bay Area, no matter what you say. Anyway, that's a fact. So, anyways, when I was there, all type of bobbleheads. I've been wanting a Sharks bobblehead for a while, but I didn't get one. They had some there, but they were all, like, the players, like, different theme stuff. Now, I, I just wanted a, I just want a Sharks bobblehead with a player in the uniform. They had some Barracuda ones, but I want Sharks. And then the only Sharks one they had of a player in uniform was they had an Owen Nolan All-Star one. I didn't grab it because I wanted Sharks in the Sharks uniform. Um, and it was just more than I wanted to spend. And then they had a uh, Martin Jones one, but I didn't really like how it looked. So I didn't end up picking one up. Uh, I didn't end up picking the Sharks one up. But I did pick up a bobblehead that I had been wanting for a while. And I could have probably got it maybe even cheaper online and, and with the box maybe. But... My thing is with bobbleheads, I only take them if they're either, I mean, if uh, it's a game I go to and I get it at the game, it's a giveaway, or if I find them at random spots like vintage and vintage antique stores and stuff like that. So yeah, so I found one, or if someone just gives it for free. But I don't buy bobbleheads online, or I have every bobblehead I wanted, that's not fun. So I got this San Francisco Seals Joe DiMaggio bobblehead, SF Seals Joe DiMaggio. And now this is, I actually have this jersey, so it's pretty dope. This was a giveaway at the Giants Stadium, Sportsnet Central. I don't know what year. I think it was 2010, but I could be totally wrong. But there you go, Sportsnet Central. And there you go, Jordan Maggio. I've been wanting this bobblehead for a long time, and I finally found it, so I had to get it. Next, I got a unique bobblehead. It's more of like a bobble body that... Um, I saw it and I was like, this is, it's a Giants bobblehead, but it's cool and it's getting a player. It's a, a mascot, not Lucille, but a mascot that they used to have a candlestick, which is the crazy crab. He was kind of like more of like an anti-mascot, like he wasn't really meant to be light. It was kind of weird, it's this thing they did, but there you go, you got the crazy crab. <coughs> and here, you know, it's the whole body. He has the Giants hat. San Francisco Giants. The Crazy Crab was uh, made his debut in 1984, and he was only used in 1984. So that's when the Crazy Crab was a anti-mascot, hated by players, fans, and everybody. Um, even Frank Robinson, <laughs> the manager, wasn't a fan of him. So that was his job, though, to be hated. And um, he did make, he did come back one more time in 1999 for the last game at Candlestick Park. So 1984, revived in 99 for uh, one game. And that's the crazy crab again. He was supposed to be kind of like a, 
anti-mascot opposed to a mascot that was loved. Of course, now the Giants got Lucille and everyone loves him. So, but I thought this was unique and cool and it's not something you see every day. So I was like, let me get this one. Uh, this was a giveaway from 2008. So that's when this one was given out. So it's a, what, 16 year giveaway now. 16 years ago. It's crazy to think that 2008 was 16 years ago, but that's when this was given out. And there's actually been um, um, people who've started <clears throat> like a, I don't know what you call it, a, something trying to bring him back. But I think uh, the Giants are happy with Lucille, so I don't see that happening. But hey, you never know. So there we go. Crazy crab. And then they had um, a bunch of these little bobbleheads, which are from, let me see, with the patch. They would be from the, from to that from after the 20, 2002 season so it'd be from probably 2003 they're $5 mini bobbleheads so they had a bunch of them so I grabbed a few of them um and that is I got a Rich Aurelia Rich Aurelia and then this is a patch that I don't know if you can see it but it says 2002 um, National League Champions which the Giants were gonna wear in 2003 after the World Series um, but they decided not to which makes sense because why would you want to wear a patch representing yeah you won the National League but you lost the World Series so why would you really want to wear a patch representing that so they thought better and didn't wear them so originally we we're gonna wear those patches though so I got Rich Aurelia I got Edgardo Alfonso and I got Marquise Grissom So they um they had uh what do you call it? They had a lot of other ones. They had a uh, Ray Durham I wanted, but I didn't really think it looked like him. They had Kurt Reader, which I would have wanted, didn't really look like him. Uh, they had Felipe Alou, which was dope, the manager, because it really did look like him. But I didn't end up getting it. I should have, but it's okay. So I got those three, and then the last trick I got at this in uh, from Gilroy was this. Uh, they had a, for five dollars a program. Kevin Barlow on the front. Uh, from February or December 4th, 2005 against the Cardinals. I don't even know if they won or lost the game, but they probably lost it, to be honest. Uh, that wasn't really a good year for the Niners, to be honest. But those were, you know, rough years for the Niners. But five bucks, I thought it was cool just to get, you know, that um, program from Candlestick um, for that game. And this is, oh, see, well, then it was Monster Park. And I just realized it was actually $5 when they sold it originally, and it's bought it for $5. So I bought it for the same amount it was sold for almost 20 years ago. So that's cool. So those are my giveaway pickups. Um, two regular bobbleheads, three baby mini ones, and then a, a program. So that's my giveaway pickups. The next ones I got are my uh, what my uncle gave me. Every time I go, he just he hooks it up. So... I'm gonna save these two for last and then show uh, what else we got. So we got a, oh, this is dope. He got me two towels. So we got the Golden State Warriors City Connect towel right there with the cable car. So there we go. And it says two of five. So I'm guessing they're giving away like five special towels this year, maybe? Maybe that's what that means. I don't know. This one doesn't have it, but this one is uh, Golden State Warriors. And it says Google Cloud. So there you go. So those are uh, some towels. Uh, what else? We got some shirts. So I got a, this was, oh, I think this was the opening. I think this is the opening day t-shirt, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. Pretty dope shirt. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's the opening game t-shirt, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then they got this one, which is dope because, uh, in case you didn't know, I am a teacher, teach uh, sixth grade math and science. And this is actually a Warriors um, Educators Night shirt. So this is definitely one I'll wear to work. So you see, it says, not uh, all heroes wear capes. Educators rock. There you go. Educators Night. So this is definitely a shirt that works being a, a Warriors fan who is also a teacher. So there you go. That's dope. Uh, he actually got me this dope lunch pail, which is pretty dope. Golden State Warriors, the logo. So could definitely put some stuff in here, put it up as a uh, 
I don't want to block that. I'll find somewhere to put it, but it's pretty cool actually. So definitely gonna find somewhere to put this. Just don't know where yet. But anyway, so that's uh, cool right there. Lunch pail right there. Uh, got me a puzzle, the City Connect puzzle. So if you see, I want to see the shining off. There you go. So you can see uh, Curry's wearing the City Connect jersey. My bad that there's that glare. And the, um, you got the cable car, which again is what the jersey represents. The City Connect, the 150th anniversary of the cable car. So it's a puzzle right there that me and my girl could do. And the last two things, it's funny because when I was in the Bay, my girl and I were by the um, Warriors Arena. We hung out by the Warriors Arena and went into the store and we saw these. I was like, oh, those are cool. And I ended up, my uncle got me two of them. So we got these Tiki mugs, which say Steph Curry or Clay Thompson. So I'm going to open these up right now. and We're going to see who we got. Let's see. Oh, there we go. The first one we got is Steph Curry. So we got a little mini Curry Tiki mug that says Stephen right there. So there we go. So that is that one. Let's close this up. And then let's see what else we got. We got this blue box. Let's see if this is Thompson. Or if I got two Curry's, I'll be grateful either way. Hey, it worked out. I got Thompson. There you go. So I got Clay and I got Curry Tiki's right there. Headband Clay. So there we go. So this is my Bay Area pickups. This time out there, I did not pick up any hats, jerseys, none of that, which is good because I don't need to be spending money like that. But I got some cool bobbleheads. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll be here to pick up while Super Bowl weekend. Hey, next year, see how the Niners go. Um, see what the Warriors can do in the, uh, you know, try to get into the plane and see what happens. Sharks, you know. Fun to watch, but we already know that ain't going nowhere. But hopefully, we'll see what the Giants can do, man. Um, obviously, the Dodgers are isn't their 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 team is stacked. That team's crazy. So hopefully, the Giants can compete, maybe catch a wild card spot, and we'll see what happens. But anyways, but, uh, spring training is coming up. That'll be cool, and that's it, really. Bay Area pickup, Super Bowl weekend, and that's it. I'm gonna stop talking. Everyone have a good day. Peace.